He's a man who has great optimism and an even greater heart, and a man who knows that if Americans work together, there is simply no limit to what we can accomplish. It's been a pleasure for me to have the opportunity to work with him, and it's an even greater pleasure, Governor, to have him down today to visit with us here at Georgia Tech and to say a few words. Would you please welcome the 43rd President of the United States of America, the Honorable George Bush. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thank you all very much. It is a uh, such an honor to be back in Atlanta and on the campus of one of the great universities in our country. I want to thank Wayne for uh, the president of the university for hosting us. And Saxby, thank you for your leadership and your a strong support of our national effort to defend the homeland. I want to thank the governor and the first lady for being here. The last time I saw you was at uh, Booker T. Washington High School. I'm honored that you all came and took time out of your day to help us focus the nation's attention on how best to secure the homeland. I want to thank uh, all who work at the, uh, at, at, at the uh, Center for Emergency Response Technology Instruction and Policy. Uh, I have just seen a demonstration uh, that helps prepare the emergency firefighters and the firefighters and the police how to take care of a, a disaster or an attack, how best to protect the citizens. This is an uh, innovative training center. And I want to thank all those involved with the center for your, your hospitality and, the, uh, uh, and for the uh, chance to see how, firsthand how Atlanta and the state of Georgia are preparing for any possible attack. I particularly want to thank the guy who they cut off his clothes and ran him through water. <laughs> that goes beyond the call of duty to impress the president. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> yeah. Better you than me. <laughs> I'm also here to say thanks to those who wear the uniform. The policemen, police women, the firefighters, uh, the emergency medical teams, all of whom work uh, hours on hours to serve the people of Georgia and the United States of America.